This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, Felicia collects $1 for every car and $2 for every truck that passed through the toll gate. If she collected $550 and 200 cars came through the gate, how many trucks came through the gate? So in order to solve this one, we're going to translate these statements into an equation that we'll then solve. And let's start with this part right here. She collects $1 for every car that came through the toll gate. That's got to be one times the number of cars that went through the gate. That's going to be one times X. I'm going to let X represent the number of cars. So this becomes one X plus. She collects $2 for every truck that went through the toll gate. So this is going to be two times the number of trucks that goes through the toll gate. And I'm going to let Y represent the number of trucks. So this becomes two times Y or two Y equals, this is going to be equal to the total amount she collected, which is $550. All right, what's more, we know that 200 cars went through the gate. So let's go ahead and plug that in for X. Uh, one times 200, it's simply going to be 200. Again, one times anything is just itself. So one times 200 is 200 plus 2Y equals 550. Now, as you can see, the only thing we have to do in order to get our answer is to solve this equation for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 200 from both sides of the equation. This crosses out, leaving me with 2y over here. What is 550 minus 200? Again, you don't get a calculator on the ASVAB, so make sure you could do this math by hand. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 0 is going to be uh, 5. 5 minus 2 is 3, so this is 350. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 now to get y by itself. This crosses out, leaving us with y over here. Now, if you can't do 350 over 2 mentally, you could always do the long division. This says 350 divided by 2. How many times does 2 go into 3 without going over? That's going to be 1 time. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Drop down this 5. How many times does 2 go into 15 without going over? Well, 2 times 7 is 14. 15 minus 14 is 1. Drop down this 0. How many times does 2 go into 10? That's going to be 5 times. 2 times 5 is exactly 10, so we have no remainder. So we can see y is 175. In other words, 175 trucks pass through the toll gate. So this one is B.